<laughs> Tracy Ann, it's so good to oh, see you. Lovely to see you. Thanks uh, for having me on. Not at all. But what I mean, there you are, successful actress, successful writer. You've done so so many things in your life, and you get this abuse online. Yeah. Because you stuck your head above the parapets for something that you believed in. And the torrent of abuse you got was absolutely vile. But unbelievable. You know, I, I've, I've been a member of the Labour Party all my life. I started to see a huge amount of racism, anti-Semitism and misogyny coming out. I waited for some grown-up from the Labour Party to come in and stamp it out. Nothing happened. So I put my head above the parapet and Rachel yeah. Riley followed suit. Indeed. And the, um, and the abuse was incredible. I'd never had a single negative comment on, on Twitter, which is my social media sure. of choice. And the abuse and from quite high up was just prolific. And I entered a world of trolling online, so I can totally empathise with Jesse. And, but it's mm. really interesting, and I wanted to turn it into, much like David, who said he always thinks <laughs> pain material, yes. I wanted to turn it into something positive. Sure. So I set up, I got this podcast together called Trolled, where I got mm. people who've put their head above the parapet to talk about how to deal with effectively bullying and people trying to silence you, and it's turned into quite a big thing. It has, really. You're a braver woman than me, because I actually got so upset with all the vileness, not just directed at myself, but just directed at everybody else. I had to stop doing it. But I you were brilliant, it, Lorraine, Anne. because in your position, so you were even putting your head above the parapet. But I just... I, it's, I just can't cope with it. Yeah, I, just well. I, don't know how you, I don't know how you coped with this, because it got so personal, so yes. vindictive, yes. and the anti-Semitism was... Utterly shocking. Yes. I mean, to be told, you know, your family didn't really die in the Holocaust. Uh, Auschwitz was it was you made up. You know, you're a disgusting Zionist um, prostitute paid by the. You know, on and on and on and on. Uh, and it's um, you know, again, looking around for a grown up to come in yeah. and say, can you can somebody say this isn't being done in the name of Jeremy Corbyn? And it didn't. But you know what? It's it's when you find something that you truly passionately believe in and you have to speak out on. Yeah. And people are watching me now and saying, you know what, you've given me bravery to speak Sweet. out on... We, and as women, those often men will try and silence us, they'll try and intimidate us. Yep. And, you know, Jessie should take, um, you know, hope, yeah, because yeah. when you're a strong woman who is not going to go anywhere, they don't like it, but you've got to keep on... I, they, they, they took on the wrong women, that's, that's yeah, for sure. Yes. I know there's, there's a legal battle going on, so we can't go into any details, obviously we, we cannot. But that has to take its toll on you, even although you are, you, you know, you are feisty, you're a warrior. But it's blinking difficult. You know, you shouldn't have to. Go well, with it. you know that, that that's that's the problem when organisations don't police their own um, people and they don't police their members and they don't police their employees mm. and libelous and slanderous things are being said. At the end of the day, the only redress that you've got is is the law. So both Rachel Riley and myself ended up. You know, we really did look for some somebody to slap the wrists of people. And they didn't. And, and they, they didn't. didn't. It's shameful. It's absolutely shameful. And I think what Jesse says is so true. I think. Uh, I'm I think Al said it, you know, the days of being able to put abuse online anonymously will eventually change. Has to, has and to. also, don't say online what you wouldn't say to the person in real life. Exactly. That makes perfect sense. Mm. Of course, the best revenge is just to live a good life, which exactly. is what you do, which is absolutely what you do. Really busy. You're working with Ricky Gervais coming yes, up, which yeah. would be great. On after we'll see you in Plebs with Amanda yes. Holden, which was really, really, oh, really yeah, funny. Yes. Great, great fun. But right now, very, very... I mean, very demanding role that you've got in Mother of Him. Yes, Mother of Him is was a, is a play. Um, normally, when you get a play and you're offered the part of the mother, your heart sinks because that's <laughs> normally the worst part in any right. TV drama, film, or stage. This play is all about the mother. It's all about a mother of a of, of a boy who does something absolutely terrible. Mm. It's set in 1998. It's before social media, when you could write your own Facebook blog or you could put you know yourself out there. Sure. It's how the mother is blamed for everything, how the public perceive the mother of a child that does something awful. Mm. The guy who wrote this, Evan Place, he was a very young man. He wrote this wise beyond his age. He watched the Madeleine McCann thing to, you know, play out at oh, the time with Kate hell. McCann, who was yeah. being scrutinised. How sad does she look? You know, all of this stuff. And he wanted... To, it was based on a true story of a friend of his who was under house arrest for something awful. And he wanted to write a play about the mother's perspective over that week being under house arrest with her son. And it's so interesting. Amazing part to play. Yeah, it's it, one of those it, ones you go, yes. thank you. Yes. Absolutely, thank you. And, and it's, it's good because that's what you do. This is your job. Yes. You shouldn't have, have had to be sidetracked by all of this. But you're right. That, I mean, I know Brexit is very noisy and there's a lot of noise around that and everything else is kind of getting 
put into the, you know, the long grass. But something like this, the Labour Party really have to step up. The the no, they really they do. They want to go I'm, credibly I, into an election. I don't recognise that party. I just don't recognise yeah. it. And, it's, and it's, um, it's very sad. It is. But, we, as you said, the best revenge for all of us <laughs> who feel that people have tried to silence us is keep doing our real jobs and living our best life. Absolutely.